and I'm like, ah, somebody come take my matter, put on top in your head. You are carrying my matter. Dear Jasmine, dear Jasmine, dear Jasmine, dear Jasmine. Dear Jasmine, I wonder if this love is everlasting. I promise not to treat you like your last one. Hi, Faze. Hi, Boo Boo. Hi, Darlene. Hi, guys, and welcome back to another video. Another video. You guys asked for a part two, and I didn't want to waste time. I mean, I did say I was going to do a part two anyway, but I saw that some of you were also writing in the comments. Part two, part two, part two, part two. I'm back like I never left. We're in a good mood. We're excited to get into this video, and today. We might not have wine, we might not have pineapple juice. In fact, we don't even have apple juice, but we do have palm bay. Palm bay is what we're drinking today. We're drinking palm bay. It's, it has alcohol in it. Give me a moment. And then, and I will yeah, shake your wadi at the back like that. Before we get into today's video, I do want to show you guys something quickly. Are you wondering what this is? Don't wonder no more. This is Sojo's, an eyewear company. They make beautiful glasses and they were kind enough to send me five of them. And these are so cute. Like it came in this box. I'm gonna try all of these to show you how they look on me. This is the first one. Let's see, let's see. I haven't tried any of these. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, we like this one. We like this for sure. Next one is this clear one. Okay. Mm hmm What do you think? Okay, that's the second one. This one too as well. I'm gonna be showing you guys what it looks like on their website. I kind of like this one. This is the fourth one. It's also clear like the other one, but the shape is kind of different. I'm loving this one. I think I like this too. And then the last one, the last one, yeah, it's not calling onto my heart. I don't even remember taking this one, so I don't know how it ended up being part of it, but this is the last one. Hmm, I wasn't so sure about this one. I don't really like it. This one is probably my least favorite. This one. This one is the one I like the most. This one too is very cute. And then obviously I like the clear ones as well, the transparent ones as well. Thank you so just for sending me this. I really love it. I'm not gonna waste any more time. Let's jump right into the questions. They're so juicy. What career path have you chosen? I want to be a graphic designer. My big, big dream is to own an advertising agency, which I would. So I'm currently in school studying interactive media design. So that's the plan. But I also want to do like YouTube full time. There's so much that I want to do, guys. You have no idea. Are you open to dating a girl? Am I open to dating a girl? Nothing against dating a girl. I just don't think it's my preference. I think me and girls are better off being like close friends, best of friends. How many kids do you wish to have in the future and how many girls or boys? I want three kids, maximum four, like two boys, two girls. Eh, but there are plenty. Am I ready for that kind of life? I'm just praying that that happens because it's possible that I will give birth to all girls or all boys. But I'm praying it's two, two. My future husband over there, babes. I think I'm going to finally answer this question, but I will definitely not give details as to why we ended up the way we ended up. Why did you and Kiki break up? I guess that's the question. Basically, before I even left and came to Canada, we were having issues. I won't go into details, but I found out something. I found out in Ghana, and when I finally came to Canada, I found out more. I just couldn't deal with it. We were really like at a rocky stage anyway. So that's as much as I'm going to say, because now it's been some time it's been like a year i think or more than even a year and i still am not ready to really talk about it but this is as much as i can say and i hope you guys can respect that everybody's living their life we've moved on next question how are you juggling abroad life with school work and personal life all together not that bad it is it's difficult than i thought it was going to be because i hardly have time to do a lot of things but i do make time to try and enjoy life the beginning is the hardest but once i'm done with school and i find a full-time job i feel like it's better so i'm just looking forward to that how is dating a man in canada look like dating is dating i guess it's just that the culture here is very much different from the culture in ghana people are so open about a lot of things here it's crazy it's crazy out here but there are also some really nice people out here too 
so it's not terrible but it's not great let's just say that how did you learn to do your own hair how long did it take you to learn i started by watching youtube videos it didn't really take me long definitely improved from when i started wearing wig if you see the wig i installed the first time <laughs> I tell you, it wasn't hard. It wasn't hard because I kept watching YouTube videos and then practicing. I've been installing wigs for like four years now, or three years maybe. I feel like I'm improving. Always watch hair tutorials because I want to improve. I see new products, I see new techniques every time, and I try to incorporate that in my videos as well. That's how I did it. How did you add weight in the right places? I didn't. I think a lot of people just keep asking, how did you get that shape? What is your, what's what's routine? I don't have any of them. I've always kind of been like this. You can ask the people that I went to school with. I have had this body and this shape for forever. I mean, I have gained weight, kakra, you know, in the cheeks, in the arms, and I really don't do anything. My eating habits, terrible. Terrible, 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 terrible. I'm not trying to gain weight or lose weight right now. I'm kind of just leaving it hanging. What's your thought on cosmetic sex? do it if that's what you want to do do it why are people so concerned about other people like honestly at this point in my life i don't even care those people don't know you they are just sitting in the outside of the box and looking at you inside and they're just doing judgment something that's all they know they are there letting it bother you they don't even have money babe they don't have money they are broke all of them because um they have too much time on their hands anyway i've deviated the question is what do i think if you feel like you want to have a bigger butt go for a baby girl do you bigger hips do you breast whatever whatever you, is going to make you unhappy hey whatever is going to make you happy in life do it baby hmm do you communicate with your ex no I didn't communicate with any of my exes. Probably one, but then he's he's cool. So that's why he's there. I don't mind. What's your best memory of Ghana? Definitely when I was in university and right after university. University was fun. After university was also fun because then I had much more time to do so many things. I went out a lot. I hung out. I was like, I was chilling, babes. I was chilling. I didn't really have any worries. I, I didn't have to think about anything much. I was in a happy relationship then. So I think that's my best memory next question do you think sex is overrated before i used to think it was before i was like what is the point of this but not anymore i don't think it's overrated i think you just need to find the right person the right place the right vibe the right age there are a lot of factors that go into it yeah let me remove my bottles on here i don't like that I don't like that. Stop it. Everybody's going to judge me. I don't care about everything. Judge me. Sex is not overrated. I think when you do it at the wrong time, if you do it early with the wrong person, it might feel like it. But when you wait, babe. <laughs> One thing you wish you knew before traveling. There are so many things that I found out when I got here. First of all, my initial school, wrong choice. I wish I had done a lot more research and found a better school. Also wish that I did a lot more research on the process of um getting like a work permit after school and stuff like that. There's so many things that I wish I really like took my time. Even though I thought I really did my research. Apparently, now I was joking. Play play in my idol. I didn't choose the wrong process. I feel like I just chose a longer process in the end it's still gonna make sense like it's gonna be worth it so i'm not worried about it at all i feel like my eyes are starting to get red again guys my eyes are killing me have you thought of marriage yet if yes do you want to come back before i have thought of marriage it crosses my mind sometimes but it's not something that i am like giddy giddy meant to go inside no 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 not at all not at all not at all it would be nice if i get married eventually but i'm not in any rush for it not even kata kata i'm not crazy about marriage i'm not like hey i have to get married oh i have to get married no like i'm just enjoying life if it comes okay if it doesn't come okay what am i supposed to do chase after it what advice can you give to someone that wants to start youtube uh what advice would i give to someone who wants to start youtube do some research see some try and get some ideas from other creators because that's what they all do everybody is looking at like a bunch of other creators to get inspiration on what to choose because sometimes you really just don't know what 
to do so do some research on what kind of content you want to start post that first video post an intro all you need is just some good lighting sit in front of like a bright window or something set up your camera you can start editing with basic video editing app i use final cut pro but uh there's so many editing apps some of them you can even like put on your phone and edit on your phone it's not that hard babe once you start and you start getting used to it do it do it do it do it do it do it you're wasting time time is going i know when you start it is going to be so frustrating because sometimes you put in so much effort into a video and then you will come and get 10 views you also have to try and stay consistent don't wait and try and put so many things in place before just start it are you a neat freak i won't say i'm a neat freak i enjoy cleaning cleaning is a hobby for me it's not my household it's not my house but i can go and go and be cleaning in somebody's houses that's how much i love it it's not like when somebody something small is that you know i'll go and go and take sponge and be scrubbing and no not like that and i like things being organized i've always been like that what is your view on masturbating <laughs> this is very interesting my darling it can be healthy and then also not healthy not healthy if you do it too much healthy because at least you can explore your sexuality if you ever do it you have a problem okay you have a problem let's go and research into that but you know before you will but you know before you will i'm not advising you badly yo, but me there yeah, that's just me well, that's what i think okay we'll do whatever you want to do the drink is finishing no the alcohol is actually starting to slap me but it's okay last time you had sex Do you go to church? If yes, where and if no, why? The last time I went to church was... Let me just choke myself because at this point, I don't even care. The last time I went to church was... Hmm. Since I came to Canada, I've not gone to church. Let's start there. And before I came to Canada, I think I hadn't been to church in a while. Now, my thought process for not going to church, because I was going to church, I was invited to church by a friend. And this was one of those new church with a weird ass name. It wasn't like a weird ass name, but like it wasn't the traditional churches that we know. It wasn't the Methodist, it wasn't Pentecost, it wasn't Catholic. So I went to this church and then this pastor was like a really, really young guy. This one was selling sugar. Wait, I don't think you heard me. You, you know sugar sugar that they have tied you know how uh before they used to tie sugar in small small eggs so you go and buy it sell like 10 pesos or something and you use it to eat gary if you buy the sugar the sugar will change your life forever and ever tied sugar he started from like five thousand ghana cities. i am very scared of churches because they lie a lot of people like a lot of these churches are fake ass church is now business they all want your money so i lost faith in church how do you relate to people who criticize and make fun of you like right now my non-charism i'm even sh I'm, I'm shocked i simply just don't care like you can't get to me you can't bother me at all at all at all at all no 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 no. what you can't stress me okay sometimes i read some messages some comments somebody will come and send me a long message all the message inside the insults but you see I have understood you must love me but you express your love in a different way you know what i mean you have to express it through insults you are stressing yourself you're the one worrying about somebody's life hey get the get the get the mental it's not even small i used to see people's comments and i'm like ah somebody come take my matter put on top in your head you are carrying my matter is it not heavy for you is it not giving you a headache when you could have used that energy and that time to think about how to put money in your bank account and if you come and you come for me i just look at you like this like congratulations you've done very very well for yourself now go and make money go and eat go and sleep okay me it's one click block quick open perfect block done finish i never see your matter again i don't care when you went for your visa interview what kind of questions did they ask you if you watched this video i didn't go for any interview i literally had to just write my study plan which was kind of like interview they gave you like interview questions and you answer that um, essay form that was basically so i didn't go for an interview hey! this question is too heavy have you gone to the club and felt like eh -eh, someone there you're going to the club and eh -eh, somebody's child in the club I don't understand like inside the club if you do that i'm judging you i'm judging you in my heart 
you people could not leave the club it had to be inside the club you are a nasty child if you've done that before you are a nasty child everything is wrong about it i don't even have to listen now stay hey i have not reached anywhere oh. how do you keep your hair laid this week for instance i installed it i installed it on saturday today is monday i typically keep my wigs on for like five six days or probably a week this is the glue that i use ghost bond i only use this glue when i know that i'm going to be keeping the wig on my head for a while because this is a strong glue by the time it gets like the sixth and seventh day sweat oil and stuff are starting to like build up at the front so it kind of weakens the glue taking it off doesn't do as much damage but if you use this glue today and tomorrow you remove it i'm sorry you have no edges left the edges is goniometer i wrap my edges every night i have a little scarf that i tie on my edges and then i put on that's it alcohol is working in my system it's working <laughs> maybe i missed the reason but why did you delete your canada jelly videos actually i'm looking for that video eh? i've been looking for that video to repost and react to it but i don't have it and that video was on the old channel i posted it but i don't have the video i've looked and searched and looked and searched and looked i can't find it if you have that video please send it to me okay the video of me leaving ghana and coming to canada i did a vlog I can't find it. What's your worst experience in Canada? I think my worst experience is oh god, this is like a story time that I should share. It was getting lost in Canada. I will do a video on it. I will give you a story time. It, it was so funny, but so sad. The drink is finished though. Do you work out and how often? I don't work out. Exercise is hard. Gym is not my friend. It is very hard though. The people that go to the gym more grease to your elbows. What am I supposed to say? Um, I mean, it is. If you know what the hell you're doing and the other person knows what the hell they're doing, of course. If not, waste of time. Okay, I think I am finally done. This drink is also done. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I am I was so happy to do this chit chat. We will be doing more of this. If you're new to my channel, babe, first of all, welcome. I am happy that you watched the video from the beginning to this point. But I just want to understand, like, did you really watch everything only for you to not like subscribe to my channel? Is it me or like what are you waiting for? what are you waiting for what are you waiting for it's a question what are you waiting for what are you wait? i think hit that subscribe button hit that subscribe button hit that subscribe button hit that sub at this point i'm sure you've subscribed for those of you that still haven't subscribed do you want to go to hell i really don't like to brag but every time I, I feel like i have to let you guys know that my voice is expensive and i'm not supposed to be singing for you but i sing for you out of love i should be making money from this talent but i decided to sing for you you say you subscribe you go to hell god is gonna judge you yeah if you're also not following me on my social media pages please do okay they're gonna be at the end of this video my instagram my twitter my tiktok all the mind mind stories are all my handles i gonna be at the end of this video okay. also before you leave watch another video if you haven't watched the first q a it's gonna be at the top here and i will see you i will see you on another video i will see you on another... love you guys